impeachment. Your comments. The impeachment is dead on arrival because uh, there is a provision uh, of, on the offenses that will qualify a lawmaker from being impeached. But assuming without considering that they come under the blanket word that they lost confidence in him, you need to know the constitution of the senators there. That's one. Number two, what is the ground for the impeachment? What he said. What he said, is it a fair comment? Is it justifiable in the circumstance? I do not, and I have not heard anybody say anything outside of the framework of what you just said now, which is that the governors in their various states should first do the restructuring. I don't know whether in Jupiter, in Mars, in Plato, or in on Earth, that kind of comment will amount to uh, impeach impeachable offense. Because, one, it is on record, and it is right here in our faces, that the states have failed to implement the constitutional provision of the law about autonomy, fiscal autonomy that has to do with the legislative branch and the uh, judiciary branch of their respective states. The courts are on strike. So that comment he made, is it true? The answer is yes. Secondly, maybe people can say it is insensitive because if he, if he narrows it down to the southern governors, then it, it, will, it will mean that you're profiling. But if it is on the generic sense that Governors, states are the ones to begin the process of restructuring. 1,010%, he is correct. Because if you look at the framework of our government, it's from the local level, you come to the state level, mm. and then it comes down to the nation. Okay. Everything for which we are accusing the state government to do, the national is already doing it. Okay. There is independence of the judiciary at the national, independence of the lawmaker. Okay. Before you wanted to say something. All right, Dr. Bala, uh, your argument, a lot of people will say you are cherry picking. Because... What you've just come to do is try to turn my eye away from the conversation. What's the conversation on restructuring? Right. Resource control is in the heart of restructuring. Right. That's why states like Delta State and other oil producing mm -hmm. states fought so hard before they got 13% derivation. What they are saying invariably, they don't want 13% derivation. We all know it used to be done in this country when the uh, oil was discovered in the eastern region. They were paying the federal government royalties of 12.5% of the revenue they were controlling themselves. So a lot of people want that same revenue right. to come to them so they can direct it. So for all the other things you're saying, inadequacies, so they can even set up their own state police when that revenue comes to them. They don't want their normal okay, VAT. They, for, I'll give you an answer. They don't want their VAT, for instance, to be shared with states like Kano that would destroy people selling alcohol, but when a lot of VAT money comes from alcohol consumption. So that's restructuring. Because that, you just cherry picked and you right. You did the lawyer on me this morning. <laughs> no, I am not cherry picking. Let me answer it and let me uh, submit to you that I have answered every question that was given to me. When you did not say restructuring at the federal, you say restructuring in Nigeria. If you say restructuring in Nigeria, it must start from the local. Before a country was formed, a people from their local nationalities come together and form a country. That is how development takes place. You start from the local, from Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and to the Ottomans part of the earth. You cannot change the conversation. That's the point I'm saying. But let me even refer you to the point of Delta. You mentioned Delta. Delta, as we speak right now, there is an agitation in oil-producing states that the monies made for them are not being used for their own development by their respective governors. Now they are calling for what they call a commission that will take care of the oil producing states. So in other words, we are saying we cannot hold our governor to book. We cannot hold him to account. What we want is more money. Now, six, five, 500 to 900 million that I told you that is devoted on an average in Nigeria today as security vote is almost about the same salary strength of the entire civil service of that state. So that means that money can create police and fund police in that state. In any case, before you make a push that what you have is not enough, you must show evidence that you are using what you have conveniently and adequately. You see, forever, I am one of the very few people that refuse to be confused by putting things on, in context. So many times, governors, what they do when the governor has a problem, there was a time in this country when a governor develops, wow. a, you know, he sent some people talk, they went and slapped a judge in the court. And then the right. next thing he Dr. said, Buala, is in a vegetative state in England. Dr. Bwala, 
would like to thank you very much. Your point about the responsibility of the states is very clear. Mm -hmm. But we don't have more time. I would have loved to ask you about what your party, the All Progressive Congress, is doing about the report on restructuring that has been before it since 2018. But maybe that will be another conversation for another day. Thank you very much indeed. We'll take a short break now. And when we return, we'll be talking...